I couldn't be more proud of, of my colleagues. They deserve all the recognition in, in the world for the work that they do day in and day out in supporting this great city. My name is Eve Burton, and I have the distinct privilege of being the general counsel of the Hearst Corporation, which allows me to see all of the legal issues that affect every single one of our divisions, all of which are different. However, there's one area which affects virtually all of them, and that is the First Amendment. Eve likes to say we want to make sure that we leave the First Amendment no worse off than we found it. Hearst for a long time now, has dedicated resources specifically to making sure that our newsrooms are able to get the access to public records that are necessary to do the highest quality investigative reporting and make sure that the public is informed. That same mission of public trust motivates our, our community service and it's really important to, to our group. We researched and discussed and educated ourselves on different causes. We ended up giving to organizations doing frontline work on causes that were near and dear to us. Promoting diversity in newsrooms, expanding legal access, fighting food insecurity. 25 years ago, we adopted here at Hearst 20 young men from the South Bronx who were united in playing baseball for a team called the Outsiders. I said, we'll support the team, we'll come to all the games, but you gotta go to school, you gotta get ready for college, you got to work in the summers, and we'll let you out for the games in the afternoon. And we said, we're going to stay with you for 10 years. And everyone's going to college. Everyone's going to college. Forward 25 years, OK? The last group got out of college five years ago. They're working as physical therapists. They're working as engineers at Best Buy. They're working at a startup company for computer recycling. They're working in construction. They're working in the trades. We have someone who's actually got a master's degree. That's 20 kids over 10 years that came through the Hearst system. Now, do you know how many people who are editors of Lipstick who also have a chemistry degree? I've met them all. They were tutoring these kids in chemistry, people who helped them get into college. We took road trips. They went to Siena, Marist, University of Virginia. They went to Middlebury College. They have been to Miami University in Florida. They have been to Odessa College in Texas. All of that happened because of the people of Hearst. That happened by probably a hundred different people, from Junior who made them lunch, to Steve Schwartz who met them, to Frank Benick who supported them, to Dino Dinowitz who's the head of our foundation. This ecosystem at Hearst to create the opportunity for those 20 kids. 18 of them still very much in our lives at Hearst. And as Maureen Sheehan said, if you believe in someone, that they can really blossom. With Eve Burton's support, members of the OGC actually worked to create a library called Her Speaks. That is now a company-wide initiative. There needs to be a place people can see what our own publications are saying every day about race, gender, and identity. Whether it's initiatives in education or affordable housing or the arts, everybody's entitled to a supportive culture and a supportive environment around them. Anything that we can do, big or small, I think uh, makes a huge makes a huge difference. I'm the co-founder of Hearst Lab and the uh, chairwoman of Hearst Lab today. We bring women who have an idea, a small product already built, maybe a little bit of revenue, and we then plug it into the great Hearst ecosystem of 375 businesses. We create commercial opportunities for them. We create creative review for them. We create marketing opportunities. What does Hearst look like in 25 years? We will have the best group of people around the table to make the very best decisions that one can make in any situation. New York City is one of the greatest, greatest cities in the world. We're incredibly fortunate that I, I think we work for one of the greatest companies in the world.